This tutorial brought to you by SimWorksFamily.com. Since having my children, I've realized how important it is to be aware of how we're treating our planet. In everyday tasks around the house, from washing our clothes, to cleaning our counters, to even making our morning cups of coffee, we leave a little bit of waste behind. In partnership with Greenworks, I'm going to show you how to keep a little of that waste out of our landfills and how you can turn it into something that will give it back to our planet. By using the used K-Cups as seed starters, we can take something we use every day and reinvent it for the use in our gardens. And since K-Cups cannot be recycled, we can turn our morning cups of coffee into something good. Now to get started, we're going to grab our K-Cups, our seed packet. It's great to know exactly when to plant the seeds based on where we live, as well as know the seed instructions found on the back of the packet. a trowel if you don't want to get dirty in some soil, and some water to sprinkle on after we've planted our seeds. To get started, go ahead and grab the K-cup and pull the foil off of the top by grabbing the center hole. Once all of the foil is taken off, go ahead and discard the foil on the side. And then we're going to take our coffee grounds and put them into a separate container. These coffee grounds can be used later on in our compost bins or directly into the garden if you prefer. Next, we're going to go ahead and remove the filter from our K-cups. It's as simple as just reaching in and pulling out. It comes out quite easily. You'll also find some of the K-Cups have a plastic filter in them. Those cannot be composted, so we want to make sure to separate everything and set those aside. But you can go ahead and compost the paper filter if you'd like. Now that we have our K-Cups all ready, we're going to go ahead and start. The great thing about these K-Cups is that there's a hole at the bottom already for drainage. Take your soil and your trowel and fill up the K-Cup about three quarters of the way. That'll give us some room to sprinkle on the seeds and then cover up with a little bit more dirt. Now we're going to go ahead and grab the seeds. I like to plant two to three small seeds per K-cup, but you can go ahead and follow the directions or instructions on the back of the seed packet. Usually they have good advice on how many to include. What's great about starting from seed is that you can start them whenever you'd like and you don't have to plant them all at once. Once you have the seeds in there, go ahead and pack with a little bit more dirt and now we're going to get going on the rest of our seed starters. Now you don't have to do all one type of seed. You can use multiple seeds and different vegetables and fruits. Once you have everything taken care of and packed away, sprinkle with some water and your seed starters are good to go. Just wait for those seeds to start sprouting. 